fucking sweet, dude. All right, I just did that. I set it to 20. Is that any better? Who, who offered them, Robert? Now it seems to be working. Try 15, all right. Fifteen, about a bing. Check, 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 check. You see my lips moving with the sound. Check, check. Oh fuck! They made a deal with Damon for fifteen percent. You snake. You fucking snake. I was gonna take that business to the moon, and you snake me out at fifteen percent. Try ten now, okay? <laughs> Close. All right, now we're back at commercial. This whole live Shark Tank is very strange. A lot of dead air, a lot of awkward things. Yeah, you know, you don't make it this long in this business if you don't know how to adapt. You don't fucking bring a business from bottom to top if you can't handle the heat in the kitchen. All right? I didn't get by just by snorting ketamine with Mr. Wonderful in the closet at Woodshop. No. I talked to Mr. Wonderful and said, let's start a business. Let's wrangle in some brides and do some weddings. And he said, no, but I'll take that idea. Fuck yeah. Now we're rolling. I like this better. The headset was a pain in the ass. This is like, this is the Zack show. This is Friday Night Zack Down, motherfucker. We're working. We got Shark Tank right now. That ends around nine, I think. So I'll switch over to just regular SmackDown and then AEW Rampage, special two hour edition from 10 to midnight. We're gonna be rolling, hopefully. I might, you know, pass out. But that was, that's good content anyway. So everyone seems satisfied. Everyone seems very happy. Shout out Frank906, you're a bitch. I'm calling you out right now. Come on Friday Night Zack Down. I'll send you the link. I'll put you on the screen, and I'll fucking tell you what I really think of your ass, bitch. Betty won't. Betty won't. You know what else is cool about having a mic like this? I can be like, Frank Valmas has AIDS. And that's what's cool about it. Keep that mic in front of your mouth. You son of a bitch. You had, I had to add ho as a permitted term now. Bro. Don't, don't think I won't. Actually, <laughs> I'd have to take the camera down for a sec if I'm going to do that. I don't even really know <laughs> how I would go about that. That's a whole thing that I'm not going to do right now. You can see, you're lucky my messages get checked and screened. You can see there's Wendy trying to slip out that crack in the window. Okay. Come on, bring on a shark tank. Another commercial, 2020. Who watches that? Who watches 2020? It's 2022, bro. You think I'm going to watch that shit? Here we go. We're back with some more shark tank. Let's see, what's next? Looks like some kind of, ew, I don't know what that is. Some kind of baby product. Oh man. <laughs> this guy has the depressing smile of a middle-aged man. 
Nothing like it. All right, we're going to learn about the entrepreneurs as usual. Uh, they're from Potomac, Maryland. Wow. This is for all you Maryland people. I mean, I live here, but I don't identify as Maryland. Thank you very much. I'm from the Jersey Shore, motherfucker. Um, oh, that's the cat. I was like, watch, this is some dumb bitch about to walk in my room. Knock it off, Wendy. All right, so these people, they're, they're pretty standard, nothing, they're working. Apparently they employ, employ a lot of children. That seems kind of weird. I just want to keep Twitch up so I can look at it. All right. I don't, their product really kind of disturbs me. I'm not 100% sure, sure what it is, but it's something for babies. Holy shit, their names are Nina and Cena Farzan. 400K for 5%. Are you fucking kidding me? That's twice what those last Jamokes asked for. Where's my fucking pencil? Shit. Shit, somebody remember that number. I gotta make a deal. Where the fuck did I put that pencil? All this goddamn bullshit with the audio. Um. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, uh, um. Let's see. All right, so this shit's a baby booger picker. That's what they're saying. That's why I was a little disturbed. It looks like a little spoon or or actually it looks like a little little dabber like a little thing you would use for dabs but they just scoop shit out of the baby i guess i can't find the pencil i don't actually need to take notes the product's called oogie bear i mean i get it it fits the product go back to 20 Yo, his fly is down. You you don't know anything about business if you're commenting on my zipper situation. It's called a power play, bro. Go back to 20. <laughs> 20. Close. Check. Wendy, where's my fucking pencil? <sighs> All right. Back to this. I don't love the name. I'm personally turned off by the invoking of boogers in the name. But I get the directness of the product. I like it. I like it a lot. I think I can do a lot with this business. I know a lot of babies. I know a lot of babies. Um, Oh, wow, there's a light on one of them. Oh, that's a toothbrush, I guess. These are a whole, like, baby face care products. This lady left some very important job, apparently, to do this. You know? Us entrepreneurs, we'll, we'll take big risks like that. We'll make the big decisions that other people just won't. Boogers are, oh, fuck you, Frank. I'm gonna, just you wait. Just you fucking wait. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna report you to Twitch. That's, um, that's honestly too far. How much does it cost to make? Two dollars, four dollars, I can make these for 30 cents. I could get a plastic fork from the Wawa and make one of these fuckers.
Uh oh. This lady was digging boogers out of her kid for five years. This booger story. They started in 2015. Wow, they got 15 million in revenue. Not bad. I like those numbers. Are you making profit? Oh, Mr. Wonderful just said, oh, they're about to make a million dollars this year. All right, this product's off the charts, and I want it. I'm going in hard. I'm willing to accept their offer straight up. I'll, I'll straight up accept it. You got a deal. You're a part of Boy Toy Industries. They're good numbers. It's 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 undeniable. I didn't want a fucking booger picker. I didn't want a booger picker in my portfolio, but with numbers like that, I have to do it. I'm a slave to these people. Hold on, Mr. Wonderful's jumping in. Uh oh. He's making an offer. Four hundred thousand for ten percent? You dumb bitch! I'll do it for five. No way. Dollar a book. <laughs> yeah. Lori, don't start. They have other products apparently, as usual. They're always like, well, we actually have a whole company. Damon just told a joke that went over so well. The crowd loved it. He's looking great. He's got a per pink purple shirt on. He really came out for the live. How about a 3.5? What the fuck are you talking about, Frank? You gotta lay off the pipe, bro. There's nothing like this on the market, she says. She says it's a big deal. She says it's gonna be the hot new thing in babies. I think babies will never be the same after this, honestly. Ooh, they have a patent. Good for you. Good to see you out there doing it. Uh-oh. She doesn't look happy. How are you struggling in the online sales and you're doing good in retail? What? So 76% of her sales are online, but she's like, oh, we need help with the online. What are you talking about, lady? I don't know. I'm getting bad feelings about this. The husband's standing there like he's a joke, like he doesn't know what's going on. The wife's been good, but they're not. Oh, they're calling in the audience. They're, this is their bit for when they go to commercial, is they have one of the sharks be like, Here's a question for the audience. How many of you? Oh God, we're doing this now every commercial break. All right, that's fun. I want to text in. Uh, do you have a hard time picking baby boogers? 22854. I swear to God, that's the number I texted. Yes, they're just so tiny. No, my fingers work just fine. Ew, I hate this show. <laughs> 22854. I don't even, it's gone now. I don't know what happened. Okay. Oh, wait. All messages. 22854. 
I swear to God. Is that not the number? Get five and urge him to sell, be the buyer, <laughs> and own the business. That's true. That's a good way to handle this. I mean, I don't want a fucking booger picker on my portfolio too long. It was 22854, right? I mean, I texted that number, and they sent me some weird shit. I'm not going to... I'm not going to vote. I'm just going to make it clear on Twitch that my vote was no. I've never had trouble picking a baby's nose because I've never, in fact, picked a baby's nose. Never would, never will. Any kid of mine is going to pick his own goddamn nose because in this country, you, you pick yourself up. You don't make it by getting handouts in this country. You know, this isn't socialist fucking China, all right? Now, this, isn't, this is a Shark Tank stream, ladies and gentlemen. We're not going to get into that. But it just gets at me. It gets at me. You see this tie? Part of why it took so long to start, I don't know how to tie a tie. It was really, I went on Google, and there was an image. It didn't go that great. I mean, it, it didn't go good at all, honestly. Uh, but, you know, you just tuck it in. Tuck it in. Thanks. Uh, good to see all the real free-thinking Americans in the chat. You know, this is a safe space for people like us. This isn't like out there with all the, you know, liberal agendas and all the penis pills and stuff like that. You know, we get hard naturally in this country. I've always been a big proponent of that. Anyone who takes any kind of penis pill is an uh, abomination, an affront to God. God said, hey, buddy, you, you don't got to be fucking all the time. You don't got to be hard right now. And you want to go take a pill? You want to spit in God's face and say, no, no, I'm going to get hard. I'm going to fuck. Not happening. Not happening. Not in my America. We're still in a commercial. I'm going to look around for my pencil a little bit more. <laughs> Let's see. Hmm. No pencil. I have other writing utensils. Here we are behind the couch. I have lots of things on this shelf here. I keep this paper to help guide me. I'm looking for pens, pencils, and etc. right here in a black box that says, train on, because they're all Pokemon boxes. So I believe this says generations. That's not it. Where's the fucking train on box? Honestly, I feel like that was it. little pencils I would use back in high school. Any more lead? No. Son of a bitch. Shark Tank's back. Come on. They got one offer on the table for their booger picker. Lori's stupid poll has, has come back. The home audience voted. They said 81% said, yeah, I have a horrible time picking baby boogers. It's a whole thing. So that just goes to show you. Motherfucker. Why do I keep all these pencils if they don't have any fucking lead? Here we go. Lori's trying to sneak in. She's trying to snake this away from Mr. Wonderful. Is there an offer, Lori? Get to the point. <sighs> okay. Breach. Ty looks lovely. Screams hard. Yeah. Cool. I get it up just fine. Fuck yeah. As a true American should. They're all like, oh, I'm in this market. I'm in this market. I can help you. They don't know. 
Mark Cuban's in. She's got wonderful Lori and oh shit, now Barbara's in. They all want this shit. And they're all like, oh, I have this other company that's similar so I can help. See, that's where I come in. I would focus 100% on Oogie Boogie Baby or whatever this is. I would be up, crack of dawn, walking the streets. Have you picked your kid? Have you picked your kid? His nose, have you picked it? You gotta pick it, here's my picker. $10, please. And that's what you do, over and over, nine to five. And then you make it, you make it big. Uh-oh. Oh, she has no other investors. That's very good. That's good. I don't like to share my fucking pie. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Robert just came in on Barbara's deal, and she said, Hell yeah, Mark or Robert. Fuck yeah, bro. Dude, they're all fired up about this. I, I've never seen the sharks like this. They're in a frenzy. They're in a feeding frenzy right now, dude. Mark's coming in for the clothes. He's like, let me make this very clear. Oh, now she's bringing up Scrub Daddy. Gotta pick a shark. Uh-oh. They want more money from Barbara. This is so, I keep saying it's fascinating that it's live. Mark Cuban is going to make his NBA team promote booger picking tools. That's a good strategy. You know, get in with the youth. The kids, they see the, the basketball players using pickers. They'll be at it. They'll be like, that's fire. That's, that's, I don't know. What's, what's the new term? Uh, that's a bussin' ass booger picker you got there. Dude, they're going crazy. Mr. Wonderful's going to 8%. Oh, I want all of them. Make a pick, lady. The crowd's chanting, take the deal. Everyone's on fire. Oh, hell yeah. We both thought of bussin'. Oh, yeah. They made a deal. They went with Robert and Barbara. Terrible decision. Unbelievably stupid. Me and Mr. Wonderful could have taken them to the moon. Mark Cuban would have been a good choice. Lori would have done a decent. I think they're going to fail. I think they're going to be on the streets by January. And that's a boy toy guarantee. We're back at commercials now. So... Uh, what do you guys want to talk about? Want to talk about my time at business school? I went to Harvard and Yale and Caltech and Rowan University. And uh, uh, Towson, um, the University of Maryland. I went to the University of... New Jersey? I don't know if that exists. I went to uh, NYNU. That's a thing. Is that a college? Uh, I went to, I spent a semester abroad at um, HCC, yeah. I spent a semester there at HCC abroad, which means I had a broad with me the whole time. Hey! Um, yeah, the college days were wild. Yeah, yeah, I had to jump from college to college. I would usually get busted uh, trying to get this other students to invest in cryptocurrencies that don't exist. But when you're in business school, I mean, how am I getting kicked out for doing good business? 
Crazy. <laughs> Absolutely insane. So I gave up on college. It's all a sham anyway. College is for the weak and the poor. Um, instead, I decided to start a business. It was called Ichiban Confections. We made confections and pastries. I worked hard. I did a lot of shareholder meetings. Um, <laughs> I did some NFT scams while I was there. That was more recent. NFTs, you know, they weren't around when I was in college. It was all about uh, iOS apps. Everyone was trying to make the next line rider and no one could but me. So, yeah, Ichiban Confections did really well. Uh, we moved up. We became uh, Ichiban Holdings, I think it's called. Uh, we have a bunch of different companies. We have a picture gallery. We have a sponge factory. It's going crazy. It's unbelievable, honestly. Um, you know, just waiting for these fucking commercials. It's outrageous. I mean, Mark Cuban can't afford to get rid of some of these commercials. He can't toss them a few bucks to be like, hey, how about we don't have the fucking fucking commercial? <laughs> I didn't want to shit on this commercial because it's about a hospital and they do good work, I imagine. Ichiban wrestling. Yeah, that's part of it. Although it's sex time wrestling live on some mess TV coming soon, featuring all your favorite wrestlers like Wiggs and Zach Kaliush and Hogman Bogman and Frank Van Vader and John Taffer. All right, we're back. Shark Tank live. They didn't do a poll before the commercial break, so we don't get that little bit of excitement. Oh shit, this guy is a returning entrepreneur, so he obviously came and failed once, and he's wearing a shirt that said, that's what Cheese said. So this guy's a winner, this guy's coming in to hit a home run. He's from Aurora, Oregon. So he was on season 12 with a cheese chopper. Appears to be some kind of slap chop for cheese. He's now living on a farm with a fucking dime piece of a wife. Gotta say, I mean, all respect. People love his product, apparently. <laughs> it's not the cheese chopper. They just showed him looking at all the unsold boxes of cheese chopper in his garage. I hope it's not the cheese chopper. He keeps alluding to cheese and pizza, so it might fucking be the cheese chopper 2.0. Here we go. He, what's it, pizza pack? What is this, a fucking... Ah, uh, Mr. Wonderful's pissed. He's like, why didn't you finish this business? I told you this thing was a fucking failure. Why are you still here? Tate Koenig. All right. He calls himself Mr. Cheese Pizza, but he's wearing a pepperoni pizza cape. Figure that. Oh, God, I already know what this fucker's selling. He's like, you can't fit all your pizza in the fridge because it's in a box. The pizza pack. It is a triangular storage, almost like a Tupperware container, but it's shaped like a pizza slice. 
So it's literally just a Tupperware container that you stack your pizza slices in just so it doesn't take as much space as a box. Which, I mean, we do that once a week here at this household with a little thing called a freezer Ziploc bag. Freezer size Ziploc bag, brah. This guy's a moron. He's an idiot. He's going to be fucking ran out of here. He wants 100k for 10%. I bet you do. I bet you do, sir. 100k for 10% for a fucking pizza pouch, bro. I'll give you 100k. You sell me 100% of this company. And I'll fucking sell it to Frank so he can fail and go into debt. It costs four dollars. Sells them for twenty-four and twenty-five dollars for a Tupperware container. <laughs> he, Mark Cuban went to like, you guys cool with that price, twenty-four ninety-nine? And they cut to this guy in the crowd who was like, like, no, I'm, I wouldn't pay that for a fucking pizza container. Exactly. I mean, if there's any authority on how pizza should be stored and eaten, it would be Wiggs, and he says, beyond ridiculous, which I agree. I'm going to write that in my notes. Beyond ridiculous. Underline. How many sales? 250K since April. It's, it's what, September now? Not great, not horrible. $2.83 customer acquisition. I mean, I hope the sharks bring up that this is, like, not something people need. Like, there's a million ways to solve that problem other than a $25 storage container. I don't store pizza. I eat it. That's a garbage. <laughs> Frank, you would buy that shit, you dumb bitch. Just toss the damn box in the fridge. <laughs> That's what he's saying. He's like, oh, who wants, who's wants? who got room for that? Like, bro, if you, like, primarily, if, like, your big concern in life is storing pizza, you probably got room in your fridge. You probably don't buy a lot of other products. He wants the money for inventory. Barbara... Right off the bat, she doesn't get the product. See, Barbara made the same point as Huber. She eats it all up. She's not going to store it anywhere. Exactly. Inventory, it's going to sit there. This guy's a moron. He doesn't even realize what he needs. Robert's letting him down easy. He's a one-product company. Not worth it. Robert's out. Uh-oh, Mr. Wonderful's in. He fucks heavy with the pizza. <laughs> oh, he's taking the deal. Oh, he wants a royalty. The crowd's chanting royalty. 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 <laughs> $2 a unit until he gets the money back, and then 50 cents in perpetuity. Ooh. Ugh. Yikes. Mr. Wonderful's like, this dumbass is going down, and I'm going to bleed him dry while I'm at it. <laughs> he, this guy, yeah, apparently doesn't know that there are other ways to handle this. I mean, pizza is, like, the most popular food in the world for centuries, and you think people are like, the only problem with pizza is I don't know how to store the box. 
See, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh, shit, Lori's in. But she wants 20%. Ooh. So Mr. Wonderful will take the 10, but with a royalty, Lori wants 20%. <laughs> Mark, Mark's out. He really doesn't like it. Oh, he wants to buy the whole company. Oh, shit. Mark Cuban just said, we're going to commercial break, but when we get back, I want you to tell me how much you want for me to buy the company completely. That, I mean, you take that. You take that shit. You sell him your whole company. He won't do shit with it. You were never going to do shit with it. You take that money. You get yourself, I don't know, you get yourself a boat. You go up to Northeast. You get a little condo on the water. You leave your wife. You eat at Woody's Tacos. Getting drunk till 2 in the morning. You get some pizza. Yeah, you get some fucking pizza with the money. <clears throat> We're back at commercial now, if you didn't know. Um, this pizza guy, he doesn't, he's an idiot, but I, I really think he walked into a, a golden opportunity to sell his company to Mark Cuban. I think that's the best thing that would ever be offered to him. <laughs> I mean, the goal of any man in this world like the absolute pinnacle of life is retiring in a boat town like Northeast near Woody's Tacos. I mean, everyone knows that. <laughs> yeah, this dude got real fucking lucky if you ask me. I'd have never gave him a dime. I'd have laughed his ass out with my baby booger picker. All right, this is a commercial about MS. Um, multiple sclerosis. I thought that was like a real bad disease where like, oh yeah, it's real bad. They're talking about like, oh, you might not lose control of your body and yeah, that's a heavy one. I feel like if I would get any, like, horribly debilitating disease, it would be that. It would be, like, some shit where I'm, like, uh, what was his name? That scientist in a wheelchair. And he would talk through a computer. That's the disease I would get. All right. Next commercial. Oh, it's Capital One talking about their bullshit. I had an opportunity to invest in Capital One back in 96 when I was doing ketamine with Mr. Wonderful in the wood shop closet. Uh, I didn't take it. This guy, Randy Phipps, took it. And he was a real piece of shit. But now he's living large with that Capital One money. Stephen Hawkins, Taylor Hawkins. <laughs> yeah, Stephen Hawkins. That's that's what I would end up as, little robot man. Taylor Hawkins, what a tragedy. Fucking tragedy, bro. I still haven't watched that. Have you guys watched that? The the tribute show, the lot the Foo Fighters thing. I think it's on Paramount. <laughs> Who the fuck am I thinking about? Taylor Hawkins, right? That that is Foo Fighters drummer. That's that's what I'm referring to. That is his name. Watched a little bit. Heard there were some good guests. I'm gonna watch it eventually. But we're back here on Shark Tank. Let's see if Mark Cuban will buy this fucking pizza company. <laughs> All right. What's your price? 
Shit. My fucking phone is not plugged into the charger. Yeah, I saw his son. He killed it. He was good. Five million bucks, he says. Five million. And Mark's like, you fucking bitch. Mark just was like, you're never going to work in this town again. That was that look. Five million, this guy says. He was just given the opportunity of a lifetime, and he's like, fuck you, bro. Five mil. That's a joke. You're a entrepreneur, not an entrepreneur. And for that reason, me and Mark are out. Hello, hello. There we go. It's back now. I don't know what the fuck happened there. This goddamn guitar hero mics. I have a rock band mic too. That one might be better. Lori's making an offer. Oh no, she's changing her offer. Oh, she went from 20 to 15 percent. Mr. Wonderful lowered his royalty to a dollar until he gets his money back. He still has the perpetuity. Mark's like, wait, 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 wait. Let's see what Mark offers. If I was Mark, I'd be like, no, this guy's an asshole. He dicked me out on national television. Damn. Mark just offered 1.5 mil. And people in the audience are like, no. Like, dude. I mean, you can do a lot with 1.5. Sell your fucking stupid fucking pizza container company, you dumb shit. It's not even like... I, he didn't even say if he has a patent. Like... I could make my own pizza containers tomorrow and squish that guy like a bug. He literally, yeah, he literally just said, I'll give you 1.5 million. And the guy went with Lori. He just, he just fucking chose Lori. So 15% is now Lori's for this stupid company. I'm telling you, I'm gonna squash him. I'm gonna squash him like a bug. Oh, now they're doing a sneak peek. This, like, host guy that's like, welcome back to Shark Tank. He's a creep, man. That guy, oh, my God, I wish you guys were watching because that guy looked exactly like MJF with a cowboy hat on. Hilarious. I don't know. You guys might be watching. Mark Cuban's going to make pizza-shaped Tupperware illegal. That would be a good call. Sell it, make it big, get it popular, get people wanting it, and then make it illegal. Genius. 
Oh, Gwyneth Paltrow is here. The hell does she sell? Oh, she sells goop. That's funny. Oh, wow. The guy who made DoorDash. He's going to be a shark. I'd be like, bro, I got a bone to pick with you. Kendra Scott. Oh, I like that guy. He's been on Shark Tank before. The, like, I don't know where he's from. He has like a Latino accent, but he's fucking good. He's fucking funny. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they're uh, they're showing like clips from future episodes. What what to expect for this season? Some interesting stuff. They implied that one of the products is a keyboard that types through your mind. What time is it? Oh shit! It's nine o'clock. Fucking show's over. Mister Wonderful is given a. Finale speech. Shit, man, I kind of want to watch more Shark Tank. Oh, no, I'm not sticking around to watch 2020. All right. Um... I could just put on more episodes of Shark Tank. Until Rampage is on. I don't care that much about watching SmackDown. Bro, I don't want to watch 2020. Get out. Get out of this. Why is it not reacting to my remote? Bump, dump, bump, bump. All right. I'm going to go to Hulu and put on some more Shark Tank. Because I just didn't get enough. I was all wrapped up. It was interesting live, I will say that. A lot of like weird, awkward moments, but I think it was pretty cool. I think it was good. It's, oh, fuck. I had to like factory reset my fire stick so i'm gonna have to log into hulu again let me do that on my laptop hulu.com slash activate me um all right i think that's the email i'm pretty sure all right activation code c y m d five all right activate There it goes, okay. No, I don't want voice control. All right, what do we got? Wow, they put that stupid Bucky Larson movie on Hulu. Um, fuck. Oh yeah, Shark Tank. I was like, what the fuck did I come here for? Shark. All right. Season 13, episode 21. What better place to start? Oh, 
audio is still working. Let's see, the Twitch is still going. Wow, this is a lot louder than the other app. All right, we're back. More Shark Tank. It's not live, but oh, it's on Hulu. Welcome to Friday Night Zacktown, hour two. The we're here watching Shark Tank. We got some two two bros coming in to pick a to pitch their product. It's called Cup Bap. <laughs> These guys are fucking weird. You can really tell, like, they they make these whole, like, here's how we're going to do our intro, and now we're going to present the product. And now that it's live, they're like, no. You're going to go out there, and you're going to fucking say what it is, and we're going to move on. We don't have time for this shit. So they're selling Korean barbecue in a cup. K food, Korean food. What? They want 3%. They want a million dollars for 3%. It's it's like cup of noodle, but Korean barbecue. And they want a million motherfucking dollars for 3%. It looks good. I mean, it's not like a, a cup of noodle. It has like meat and like sauce. I'm sure they gussied it up for the show, but it does look decent. Oh, Robert's already going to town. <laughs> Hot spicy pork. It looks good. The sharks like it. Mark's like, it's hot. It's hot. <laughs> Yummy, says Bar. Mark. Mark's dying. He's like never had anything that spicy. Lori fucks heavy with it. You can see it in her eyes. She's going to fucking... She's going to go for it. I'm in 800,000 for 10%. Yeah, uh, no, that that is heavily devaluing, right? No, what did they say? They said a million for 3%. Yeah, so you're paying less for a lot more. But hey, that's business. They have $18.7 million in sales. Maybe these guys valued it correctly. So they have 27 stores and a couple trucks, apparently. Food trucks. These guys are killing it, honestly. Where's my ashtray? I looked it up, and I am allowed to smoke cigarettes on stream because I am an adult. trucks on snow runner so we can smoke jazz cigarettes i guess you could i mean who could really say you just don't like look at the camera and be like uh -huh. 
I'm an adult. I'm fucking 28, I think. You know, it all blurs together at a point. 28, 38, 48, we're all just going to die. And that's why we got to do business. Dobis. I can't sit like that. I'm a businessman. Exactly. These these fuckers, they juice the numbers, you know, on the books. They got everything looking good on the books. Apparently they had a partner that they paid a bunch of money and he just left. He just took their money and left. <laughs> They're claiming that Korean people are party people and they know how to party and make a good product. I think he's going to win him over. This guy, he's a likable guy. <laughs> he says people in Korea called him a loser and a failure. But then he came here and fucking made it. And you know why? Because he doesn't take penis pills. Because he gets hard when God intends, and only when God intends, or when he's with a partner, because God, you know, he's cool with all types, as long as they don't take penis pills. Will Smith likes to party, he sure does. In fact, we have him here, let me, hey Will Smith, you like to, yeah, yeah, I like to party, I'm Will Smith, I really like to party, and, uh, I hope everyone's not mad at me about the Oscars. Thanks, Will. Their parents took them to America and basically dropped them off there in Utah because they were like, yeah, Utah, nobody smokes and drinks there because they're all Mormons. That was him. He doesn't get a lot of work nowadays, so he usually just hangs around. He's usually just smoking pot over there. Not that anyone's doing that because... I mean, I guess you could if you had a card in this godforsaken state. Oh, Robert, he sympathize, sympathizes with the immigrant side. He's down as fuck. Oh, he doesn't like the value, though. He's like, a million for 3%? No way. I mean, that's a 33 million valuation. Mr. Wonderful likes it. He likes the cash flow. He's making an offer. What do we got? Oh, they went to commercial, but this is Hulu. Here we are. We're back. What's the offer? What's the offer, Mr. Wonderful? It's 
So for the record, it's actually nothing like cup noodle. It's not like a thing you buy to keep in your house. It's like a restaurant thing. Like you go to the store and get one. I knew Barbara would bring up that fucking lobster company. She says that all of her best businesses were run by people who were bad in school. Just, just kind of saying that. She wants 30% for a million, though. That's, that's a lot higher. Barbara, I don't think you're cut out for this. I don't think you can hang. I think me and Mr. Wonderful need to take this into our portfolio. Robert's making an offer. He says five million for what? Twenty eight percent? That's weird, but all right. That's still I mean, that's a good deal. Some motherfuckers walk out of here with like hundred percent hundred thousand for fifty percent. Oh, Mr. Wonderful said he'll give them the million for 3% as a loan. So they have to pay that back. And then he has no more reason to care. Here's Mark. I got this little TV. You can kind of see it right there. Because uh, I actually, you know, there's there's a little bit of a, a rumor that Bray Wyatt's going to show up on SmackDown. So I, I would like to catch that if it happened. Oh, fuck. I was on the right thing and I hit home. Um, am I still signed in? Fuck. You sign in on these fucking apps and then you go to use it and it's like, who the fuck are you? Not at the same level. They said, Mark said, I can get you publicity. And they were like, we can all get you publicity. And he was like, not at the same level. Not like me, motherfucker. Xfinity. Sometimes they don't have Xfinity on the list. And I'm like, you know, it's kind of the biggest cable provider. All right. It says we're signed in. Now live TV, Friday Night Smackdown. Mark just made a deal. He, he paid some amount for 5%. I don't know how much. But I'm getting Mark Cuban, never a bad deal. All right, that should be Smackdown. I don't need these anymore. All right. So they sold their Korean barbecue truck. They made a good deal. They got Mark on board. Oh. 
All right, now they're doing one of those. Let's see what they're up to now. What the f super cube? It's, it's a it's another Tupperware container. Like people really just make these fucking containers in these fat wacky shapes, and they're like, "Yep, that's a company. That's a product." Like, what is Tupperware itself doing? Like the company Tupperware. Like, they're just, like, sitting there letting these fuckers start these businesses. Speaking of, where's Wendy? She's too quiet. I don't know where she's at. Wendy. I don't know where she's at. Oh shit, you know what? I'm probably not allowed to like let people see that. So that works. Oh, SmackDown, what are they doing? Undisputed Tag Team Championships. The Usos versus Ridge and Butch. Yeah, right. Like, that's, like, they're going to win. Next in the tank, two dudes, two bros. Something happened on SmackDown moments ago. Oh, wow. What was that, a fireball? Oh, I guess Scarlet threw a fireball at what looks like Drew McIntyre. Oh shit, here comes Bailey and them. Uh meanwhile here on Shark Tank. These guys are selling a bathtub for cold plunging, which, I mean, you can do that with any fucking bathtub, right? Watch out, I just, oh, fuck, you just saw Critton sneaking around? That's why I can't find Wendy, that fucker got her. Listen to me, Critton, you little bitch. I will find you. I will listen for your footsteps, and I will dig into the wall and find where you're hiding. And I will rid you from this world. I will crush you. I will crush you like a bug. Mark Cuban's done uh, cold plunges once or twice. Um, they're... They're, they're selling a bathtub. I mean, I don't really know how, how else to put it. <clears throat> they want 1.2 million for five. What happened to the days where it was like outrageous to, to have more than like 300,000 in your offer? Oh, uh, Robert's gonna do the cold plunge. Meanwhile, on SmackDown, Dakota Kai is fighting Raquel Rodriguez. He's probably going to win? I don't know. I don't actually know. Robert, Robert, he's getting... Oh, wow, he's screaming. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. 
They're like, Mark, why do athletes use this type of thing? You're the expert on athletics. Oh, shit. Who's that? Shotzi? With a new hairstyle? Oh, no, that's her normal hair. I just never noticed it was black in the back. Shotzi. It did 1.9 million in sales for this stupid bathtub thing. The fucking tub is $4,800. I don't really get, like, it's, it's just a tub. It doesn't even look like there's, like, it doesn't, like, make it cold on its own. It doesn't look like it even runs water. Like, you have to just fill it with a hose and then, I guess, pour ice in. Like, it's literally just a tub. <laughs> Mr. Wonderful's pissed. They don't look very thrilled on this product. I wouldn't be either. I mean, I'm going to get my notes here and just write, no, not happening. And for that reason, I'm out. Yeah, you could get literally anything. I mean, you might as well just pour the hose on yourself. And they're making offers. They're like, like how how is nobody like this is so stupid? <laughs> Anyone can make this. Fucking bozos. Robert's got some weird, complicated offer involving 1.2 million and 1.2 million as a loan for 15%. They're giving them like such complicated offers and you can see in their faces, they're like, I don't know if that's a good deal. They have like fucking four different offers for this stupid tub. I'm gonna try something real quick. All right, we're back. Right, yeah, there we are. Um, fuck. 
All right, next next guys, two dudes, two bros. They're selling something called a handy pan. Uh, this product is for getting the grease out of your meat when you're making tacos, which speaks to me. I am interested. I, I usually do the old uh, lid on the pan, like with a little crack, and then you turn it and dump the grease out. Works for me, but if you got something better. So it's basically a pan... It is kind of interesting. There's like a strainer attached to the side. So you can pop it up and then just turn the pan and strain the food. It's not bad. It's not bad. Don't worry about that sound. That was um that was my EpiPen. Yeah, I mean that <laughs> that works too. There's a lot of ways to solve the problem. But it's not a terrible product. I mean, if it's the same price as pans, as it should be, because it's a pan with a piece of metal attached to it. I wouldn't hate it. I, I think I would use it quite often on my tacos. Making my tacos. Not great sales. Seventy nine hundred dollars, seven thousand. These other people had eighteen million dollars in sales, and these guys are like, "Yeah, we have seven thousand. I don't know about this. Holy shit. Cost them eleven dollars to make the fucking thing. What's it called again? The product, uh, handy pan. It's a it's a frying pan with a strainer attached to the side of it that like can pop up. The Frank fucker. <laughs> Somebody somebody's on break at work. Somebody's not seeing to their tables. Meanwhile, on SmackDown, the Usos are coming out. Sami Zayn's there. He's always great. So these two, uh, these guys selling the handy pan, one is an attorney and one is in real estate. So you'd kind of think, like, I mean, you know, you can always make more money, but, like, you guys should be... That's probably why you have time to sit around making something like a handy pan. Guy's got a, a tattoo on his upper arm. It's mostly covered by his sleeve, but I think there's a, a lowercase d in Greek. It seems to be some kind of Greek writing. He could be a Greek, could be a Grecian from Hellas, maybe. Frat boy. That's true. It looks like a big word, though. It doesn't look like three letters, and it's definitely lowercase. And he looks Grecian. Did you guys like that trick?
Mark Cuban, great point. These guys have fucking day jobs. They're not entrepreneurs. They don't have the time for this. They're selling real estate. They're bartending at night. They're going out. They're getting wild. They're not ready for this. They're not serious about this life. <laughs> Holy shit. They asked for $10,000. 10000 That's it. For 20%. So, like, Mark and Robert are arguing about why they don't have sales and stuff. And Lori's like, hey, you want 10000 for 20%? I'll do it right now. You could be selling a shit company, literally selling shit to people, and I would give you $10,000 for 20 fucking percent. Like, if you have any success, I'm getting my money back. That was a good move by Lori. We usually butt heads in the shark tank, but she made a good move that time. They were pretty excited to get Lori. Next up, a better version of a must-have for athletes. Let's see what that is. Sharks. I like this guy. He's got pop. He's got zing. He's got what it takes. His company, Hampton Adams. Hampton Adams. What the fuck? He's selling some kind of athletic tape. Hampton Adams athletic tape. I've never even understood what you would use athletic tape for. It's strong. He's able to lift a weight with it. It's very strong, but it rips easily. Still, you know, I don't know. See, I would be like, I still don't know what you do with this. I mean, I, what, what, what is athletic tape? I've seen it on people. It's like, what is that? What benefit do you get from putting tape on yourself? Somebody ask Mark why why athletes use athletic tape. Twenty thousand dollars yesterday. Oh shit, he's got twelve point two million in sales of fucking athletic tape. They're pretty uh, stoked on his product. I'm just going to Google it, because these motherfuckers apparently all know a lot more than me about athletics. There's Wendy, free from Critton's trap. Athletic tape. I still don't get it. It's like uh, for re injury, recovering injury, like, okay, like like a cut. Whatever. 
This guy's got no patent on his product. Not good. Not a good sign. He was selling light bulbs, apparently. You guys hear the TV when I do that. Ah, oh, shit, I'm using my phone as the camera. I wanted to test out those sound effect things because I think I fixed it so you can actually hear them. I just turned up, there's like a volume control that I was able to turn up. Here's the semi-truck, if I can get it to do that. Shit, so you actually need to use that. Fuck. Not even gonna bother. Let's, let's play with some of the options we have here. <laughs> They're all like, hey, this company sucks. You should sell it whole. He's got a question for them. He wants to sell the whole business to Robert. Is he going to do it? Should we let him? That's good. I'll use that picture. It looks like shit. Huh. It just straight up put it right in there. Was that up the whole time? Sorry about that. That's uh, just me playing around with stuff. Uh, let's see. Oh, I just fucked up and, like, moved it off screen where I can't even click it. Let me try that again. Um, remove. Yes. Where's my mouse? Whatever. Okay. Image. Okay. Browse. Yeah, bro. I'm pulling it up. All right. That one. Okay, so there it is. Right, we all see it. Right. Um, how do I? Oh, there we go. Shrink it down. Shrink it down. Shrink it down. <laughs> shrink it down. Shrink it down. Look at that. Zachy Friday on Messy Shore, available now on YouTube. Classic episode, uh, the final episode of season one, uh, which features the the three Zacks switching bodies, causing all kinds of hijinks. Although uh, it's actually a very interesting approach we took that breaks the fourth wall. Wendy, what are you doing? This is not the time. 
You're ruining my stream. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm literally wearing that exact outfit right now. <laughs> That's good. I was wearing that Migos shirt all day. So we were very true to our characters, which is good. That's kind of, and I'm sure Zach, where's that weird tank top? <clears throat> So that's fun. You can just like pop an image up and I can just like, boop, now it's gone. Nothing to worry about. There it is, if you want to see it. Very interesting. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I wish I could test his fucking sound effects. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to, I'm not going to be on video for a sec just because, I mean, I'm, there's probably going to be something, but I just want to. All right, that'll be good when we're streaming as a group. You're a big gulp. Those are the only two effects I have right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> Nothing on there. <laughs> 